What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel as we continue work on the EVH 5150 style V guitar. It was originally a Hondo 767 Deluxe Series. It's plywood. Very heavy body, but very solid. And I figured since I was going to repaint it anyway, why not do something rad with it? So now we're working on the black stripes, and we're only going to do it on the front for now. We'll see how I feel down the road. Um, so what I did was I put lines where I wanted the stripes. We're going to have three. One, two, and three. I may or may not put one up here if it doesn't seem balanced or not. That's all going to be dependent on after I lift the tape. Now, normally when you would do this, you'd want to tape off the entire rest of the guitar, except for what you want painted, but we're not going to spray the black. No. We're going to use one of these Bad Larrys. If you've never seen one, it's, it's a company called Posca. Um, they're basically acrylic paint pens, so you got to really shake them up really, 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 really well. And then what you got to do is you got to prime the tip. The tip is a uh, spring-loaded. So you'd hold it upside down, which is dangerous to do here, <laughs> and keep pressing until you start seeing some ink coming up on the inside, and um, then you can do your thing. This should only take a few seconds, maybe one or two coats. So let me get this thing primed up, and we'll get started. Don't mind the tape, it's just there because I have a fan going. And don't do it too fast. See, it's starting to, starting to prime up now. Shake it again. And much like a rattle can, you want to really shake these up as you're going, too. There we go. We're going to start getting some stuff here. There we go. Here we go. We're starting to get it. We're getting it. And again, this is acrylic paint, so if you get a little bit on something like this, it'll just wash off with soap and water. You want to make sure the tip has ink on it, paint, a little bit more, yeah, and I'm just going to do this so it doesn't drip on my piece here, and that should be more than enough, alright, let's get going, this is the way that you can actually see me, like I said, it's going to take a couple passes, it's going to take a couple passes, Go. Let that dry. That's more what I was looking for right there. Don't forget to get the edges here. I only went to the white stripe, and you'll see. You'll see when I pull the tape off. And one thing that I tend to almost do is go over the wet again. Don't go over the wet. Just let it dry. Let it dry. You're going to be tempted to do so, but I wouldn't. Press down slightly. Don't press on the spring mechanism in the, in the felt tip. Because what's going to end up happening is you're going to have a, a big blob of paint come out. A big blob. All right, we'll let the uh, we'll let the first round dry. That should only take a few minutes. Plus, I got a fan blowing in the background. We'll do another swipe. That should be more than fine. Now I don't know if this is going to translate right, but you'll know it's dry when it turns into like almost like a flat black, almost like a matte. Whereas this is, I probably went a little too heavy here, and it's still drying compared to like where the tape is. So it's going to take a couple coats, absolutely, but. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. All right, we've let it dry. Oh shoot, I better not hit the camera. You won't be able to see caca. Uh, prime it again, make sure we got enough ink coming out of it. I'm gonna draw on my little piece of paper over here that you can't see. There we go, there we go. Let's find out where we need to go more. Right, right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it side by side swipes. The edges here. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. 
Try to stay in one direction. Uh, you know, once you, once you get a couple layers down, you're not really gonna see it too much. But you know, you know the deal. You know the deal. The stuffs. And like I said, don't do this. Don't don't do that. One, you can grip all the water. <laughs> um, you'll end up just wiping paint away more than you will covering it. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple more layers off camera. And then I'll pull the tape off on camera, if I remember this time. And hopefully it'll look cool. And if not, well, then you guys can laugh at me. I'm easy. All right, I only did, I think, one and a half, maybe two more coats since you last saw the guitar. Let me just carefully pull this tape off. The only thing I'm worried about is because we were rubbing against the edges. I was trying to stay on the edge of the tape so it would press itself down while I was working. But there's a couple of spots where it could have seeped underneath. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's a couple little spots here I can clean up with a, a razor blade. But overall, I think it's gonna work. I think it worked out well. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, your mother's a dirty birdie. Look at all that. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. That's okay. See, a lot of your instincts are to try to do the best job you can, and you should. But the whole spirit of this is he just literally just whipped it up, you know? Yeah, I'll try to clean up the best I can with a, with a razor blade. But I can't promise too much, and I don't think I have any more of this red to spray into a cup and kind of touch it up, but um, over here I'm kind of nervous about it blending. So you know what we might do? I might extend the thickness of the color. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let me get the rest of this tape off. And in the last video, I said we're going to mock it up real quick, and when I said that, I meant... You know, I'll just show you the pickups and a little surprise I have for it. But I couldn't find something. <laughs> I couldn't find the pickup surrounds or the, the pickup rings, whatever you want to call them. I couldn't find them. So I didn't want to show you. I didn't want to show it to you if I couldn't find it. Wow, that's, that's really bumming me out. Here, we'll get them nice and close. Right here. That's bumming me out. But you know what? It is what it is. It's a quick little paint job. It's not like it's uh We're not saving lives here, folks. <laughs> we're not saving lives here. So I can't see if it's in camera. Let me let's just do that. I mean from a distance it looks okay. It looks the part. I don't think I want to put any black stripes up here. Maybe if I do they'll be small. But here, let me show you the pickups we're going to be working with, if we haven't even talked about that yet. These were sent to me by my buddy Alex, just randomly. They're a set of Dragonfire um, hex screw. Basically, DiMaggio copies. So let's just, let's just kind of do this, right? We don't have to, well, I guess we're going to have to, we're going to have to do something with the wire. Let's see if I can't just do this. Make it nice and tight stay underneath oh yeah there we go there we go put that bad Larry oh that's right I gotta grind this out a little bit I gotta grind this out a little bit some will do this we'll just do that okay 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 that's one I'm not gonna pull the plastic off until I'm ready to actually start stringing this bad Larry up so Da -da -da. All right, let me unwind this one and then just kind of All right Now for my special secret sauce 
If I can find both the ingredients here. Now I did tease this a long time ago and I don't remember where. Oh my goodness, look at that. We're not grilling directly to the body. All right, that's the best I'm gonna be able to get you. <laughs> that's the best I'm gonna be able to get you. But that's, that's the direction we're going. I just don't know what bridge to put on it yet. I do have the original bridge, the original six screw trim. And it has a built-in steel block. I mean, this thing's pretty hefty. Uh, I want to go with something a little bit, a little bit nicer. And that's why I blocked off all the holes. So, let me bring this back up a little bit. So there you have it. Let me, you know, make it so you can actually see it. That's what we're going to be working with here, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up. And I'm going back and forth on whether or not I want to put a clear coat over it. The originals were just buffed out. But we'll see. I guess that's all going to depend on how well I can clean this up. I'm just worried about it blending into the white and turning gray. But, I mean, I suppose if we need to relic the thing, we'll relic it. But either way, let me know what you think. Do you think we're going in the right direction? Um, again, it's just an inspired buy. So anyone who's triggered that the 5150 doesn't look exact, well, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a V guitar. <laughs> What's it matter? You know what? Maybe we do need maybe something up here for black. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments. I was going to do the small one over here for the jack, but the jack's right here, and I just decided to use this. I don't know if you know that, but on Eddie's guitar, he put one here to show him where the jack was. I think originally it was a piece of electrical tape, but I don't know. You tell me the history. Let me know what you think about this. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive, guys. Thank you always so much for watching, but more importantly, to all the gentlemen out there that have little ones, whether you're a biological stepfather, an uncle watching, your grandparents watching the kids. If you are a male mentor to a child, whether it's yours or not, huge and happy Father's Day. I hope you're taken care of. And folks, I hope you're all doing well, wherever in the world you are. Until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye. I'm getting excited. That looks sexy as all kinds of... So as a little extra bonus at the end, I kind of screwed up. I wanted this line to go like this, very close to that. Oh well, you live and you learn. Maybe we'll make a teeny one. <laughs>